it's mental masturbation. That's all it is. If you're asking me for my direct experience, I'm telling you, none of these things is going to make any difference. And you're meant to go, you're going to go. And if you're meant to stay, you're going to stay. So asking me, how does that affect my life? Yes. Having gratitude. Being grateful that I get to be here one more day. And that's all it is for me. One day today. Doesn't matter what happened yesterday. And I don't care what's going to happen tomorrow. It won't make any difference for me. Today is the only day I have. What do I want to do with today? On my only day I have. I want to live this day fully. And I want to be present with whatever I have to do. Yeah. So, do I just drop my work? And go to the beach today and not take care of my responsibilities? No. I have things to do. I need to take care of my work. I have stuff to do. I have people to see. I got places to go to. But I will do all the stuff I need to do. But I'm present with it. I'm not going to go take care of something I have to do and worry about next week, worry about next month, worry about my retirement, worry about the world. I am around people, I'm surrounded by people that they're always worried about things, worried about what's going to happen to the world, what's going to happen to the country, what's going to happen to the family. What is it going to be like, Zarathustra, when you retire? You have no retirement plans, Zarathustra, my mother says. You don't have any kids. Who's going to take care of you? What's going to happen to you when you get, you get old? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen to me. That same thing that has brought me here is going to take care of me. What do I have to worry about what happens to me when I get old? I don't think about such things. My mind doesn't go there. I can't even really think about more than a month or two months from now on. I have some plans for next month. But I don't know if it's going to happen or not. I don't know if I'll be alive next month or not. Of course I would like to be around. I like it here. But I'm also okay to go. Because I don't know the next place is going to be better or worse. It's unknown. But I trust. I trust the boss. I trust the creator. My employer that I work for, Her Majesty, the Supreme Being, will take care of me no matter what. In the meantime, I'm going to live today. I'm going to live it. And I'm going to be free. Because I want to die free. I don't want to die 
like most people on this planet, in fear and worry and anxiety. No, 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 no. I'm going to die free. And I want to be conscious when I die. I want to be fully aware of this transition. I don't, hoping I don't die in a sleep. I want to be fully aware of the transition. I want to watch, observe the transition. As we're doing self-observation today, as we're watching the mind, watching the emotions, and our practice is to be, to be watchful, to observe, I want to watch the moment I'm dying from this transition, I want to do it meditatively. Completely present with this transition. Not from fear and, oh my God, I'm going to die. No. And I've told my friends that the day I die on my funeral, I want a great party. I want people to come and drink, smoke, have fun, dance. Don't cry over my death. I want you to celebrate my death. Celebration. Not crying. No one's allowed to cry. If anybody wants to cry, they have to leave. They have to come and dance. I want a party. Not mourning. This is what I learned. And other things too, but I can't think about it. Is there anything else you want to ask me, my friend? Uh, yeah, it, it's uh, special. You had five or six near-death experiences. Uh, why did it happen to you, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Did you have to wake up? <laughs> Obviously, I had to wake up. Obviously. Was it, it hard was a... to wake up? To get you woken up? <laughs> I, I guess, because I, you know, I guess, you know? Yeah, I, I guess I was a tough nut to crack. So they had to kick my butt so many times and rub my face on the ground to become humble because obviously I was ignorant and I had an attitude. So whatever had to happen, happened to make me realize how fragile is life, how close you are to death at any moment, that it can end at any moment, at any moment. So you can't take it for granted because you have no idea when it's going to end. So that means do whatever you need to do now. Go for it. Whatever that is, go for it. Don't let fear to hold you back. So if you're 75 years old and you want to learn a new language, do it. Go for it. What do you have to lose? 